Hello everybody and welcome back to my colony survival game which I have not played in a little while. I um, did a, this is actually one of the first ones I've done since I got ill actually. I did a whole massive batch just before that happened and it's basically sort of got me through that period of uh, not being well enough to record. But now I'm going to be back to it. And uh, it looks to me like I was building myself a nice house here. I was building myself, I think it was the cookhouse that I was building over here. Um, so I think I'll probably carry on with building this today. Make myself lots of nice bricks and get that all sorted. And then I can move all of, it looks like all of the cooks and stuff over there need to come into this building. Uh, obviously I've got my honey, I've got my, it looks like my chicken guys are struggling a little bit for barley possibly. So that might be a thing I need to sort out, or I might not, I might have already sorted it, we'll have to see. I can't remember exactly what I've done there. I think this one is wheat. I think this is barley. If I'm right, um, way to check would be to pick a bit up see what that is shall we that is barley so this is barley this is wheat 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 so we've got one whole massive thing of barley there and i think i might have some i've got barley there I've got two big things of barley that one looks to be wheat that's wheat that's wheat hmm so we've got lots of wheat but not uh, not tons of barley, got some barley. Let's have a look how things are going. Looks like we need to have the wheat we've got because it looks like it is being used. And it looks like the barley is a little bit on the low side. So when we expand next and get more field space, which I probably will do pretty soon, that's one thing that we need to have a look at. Because look at these guys. They're like our chickens. They are starving. And oh, the beekeepers look fine. The guy's cooking. It looks like they're running out of something as well. So what are you running out of? Oh, no, you look okay. Fine. So whatever they were running out of a second ago, they've sorted it. We did have water shortages over here before, and it looks like we've got enough wheat and berries and everything like that, so that's very cool. Um, in here, we just have bedrooms, if I remember rightly. Sorry, I'm just reacquainting myself with exactly what we've got going on here. Yeah, that's all bedrooms. We've got a workshop over, the, over yonder, and then we're going to be building a cookhouse. Fine. That's good, sounds good to me. And I think we recently moved the flag forward because I know that as I've been uh, increasing the size of the uh, of the place, it's been getting more and more difficult because obviously we've got this hill behind here. And that's quite a few things to be chopping down. I've got another little uh, another little lake behind here. Look, I've never actually like jumped up here, have I? And, and, and gone for an explore, but. Yeah, we've got another little lake there. It's coming up to night time, so it's not a good time to be outside at all whatsoever. So let us also come out of this mode. Right, so now I know vaguely what I'm running out of, and it really is just, just barley. Oh, what are you running out of? Lobsters. You don't have any lobsters. Well, that... I'm not really too worried about you running out of lobsters, but I might need to just quickly adjust. Um, nope. No, no, don't want to do that. Don't want to do flying. What are you on about? This is why I've forgotten how to control this game entirely. Let's have a look. I don't want the command tool. I want to uh, adjust the settings on this maybe e e f no f is not it definitely uh a no w i don't want to make an area i want i want to tell it ah right click 
There we go. So all I want to do is to tell it <laughs> that it, we need a little bit less lobster than that. We're, we're happy enough with the lobster that we've got right now. So they're all going to bed. Um, and a good thing for me to check would probably be that we've got enough ammo for everything. So we've got 327 bronze arrows, 259 crossbow bolts and 76 lead bullets. That should be okay. I haven't um, given them too many musketeers. I think we've got like two, are those two musketeers? They're the ones in the uh, orange are all archers. One's in black are crossbowmen and I believe these guys right at the back here are musketeers. So, that's fine. Uh, slingshots, how many of those we got? 500 sling bullets as well. That should be plenty enough for the zombie hordes, but I will just, uh, I will just check. They are getting harder. Every day they get a little bit harder. But I think we got this. We've got quite a large army going on now, so it's kind of cool. And once I've made sure of all of this stuff, the next thing that I want to do is to, uh, let's see if I can maybe expand a little bit out. Have I been trying to expand out this way? Ah oh, yes, I think that will be the next expansion to my farm plots will be out this way. I think I've been telling them to, to dig around here. Flatten it all, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see they've been digging it all out to try and flatten it down. Wonderful, so. I'll get them to continue with that in the morning. And we'll try and uh, I could help them out a bit as well, actually. While well, I've got nothing to do. So we're just looking to flatten this out. And I could do it from the wall in relative safety. I feel like I'm about to fall off though, which is not so good. The more of this I do, the less they've got to do. And I very much expect what will end up going here will be barley fields, because I've got enough buildings at the moment. Once I have the cookhouse in, anyway, I'll have enough buildings. Um, I'm thinking the upstairs and the cookhouse might end up being some beds, because I don't really want as many beds as I've got down in this sort of underground bedroom area. We've got this area down here, and I did make it... I made it quite nice. Um, it's... It's quite sweet, you know, it's very, very utilitarian, I suppose. I've got a couple of levels, if you remember. Oh, there's the musketman going, and that is slightly concerning. And then I built one more bedroom there. I could do with making this nicer, actually, but if we are going to expand the colony any more at all, then I do need some extra bedrooms, and they will go at the top of there. Okay, so that's basically where we are with that. So the next thing I need to check is where we are with research. So I imagine that that will be inside. Inside there. Inside here. Or can I... Oh, here we are, science. This is what we need. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm looking to make a glider. Um... And we need for that a si an advanced science bag and a colony science bag. It looks like we do have both of those and we are trying to make them at the moment. Uh, but I probably need some stuff to make them. It looks like they are trying to make that at the moment. Um, digger limit, I don't think they're worried about that at the moment. Health increase, we don't have enough colonists for. Um, oh, we've, we've unlocked the builder. Very nice. Did that already. How, how wonderful. We must have been nearly there at the end of last time. That's very good. And special digger, basic and advanced science bags. Now, are they going to interfere with the flyer? Yes, because there's going to be advanced science bags needed for it. So I'm going to try and just really go for the glider. Because once we're done for the glider, we can uh, do colonization and that will allow us to make the last little bits. I think what I want to do to sort of end... We weren't too far from where I wanted to end the series, to be honest. Uh, I wanted to finish off this building over here. I need to make sure I've got enough blocks for that as well. So let's have a little look at the, the stockpile there. So I had made 250 dark red bricks, and that's what I'm building out of at the moment. So that's wonderful. Um... But I just wanted to do that and then I wanted to 
just finish off those last bits of research. Now, I just need to make sure uh, that they've got enough stuff to make the advanced science bag. So I might just pop in, actually, and check on the uh, on the guys making the science bags. And just see if they are alright, if they have enough stuff. It doesn't look like they do, though. So what do we need to make a, a science bag, then? Oh, no. Monsters are in, in the base somewhere. Oh, okay, so the construction workers are trying to get out of here. And there's still zombies around. Oh, you. Mr. Red Zombie. Boom. Boom. Stop killing my dudes. Why are you still out here this time of day? Like, seriously. Come here. Ah, maybe not quite that fast. Why did you keep turning around? You're so annoying. Alright, so now I've lost workers. Woohoo! Wonderful! So I best go and try to recruit some more, which I've forgotten how to do again. Typical. Um, recruit to fill all jobs. There we are. Much better. I can't believe that. That sucks. So I think they're they're ready. They're they're still doing their job there. They're they're sort of trying to. I must have told them to take down a certain area. Yes, I have. So they're busy doing that. They're busy making this nice and flat for me. Um, I've obviously done that for safety. And once they've finished with that. I'll build a wall around it and then we'll get some more barley fields in for those chickens. So that is where we are with that. So they could just get on with that while I do some building over here. Wonderful. I can see very much where I was going with it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to put some windows in. I'll just build the framework to start with. Definitely looks like I was uh, working on some stairs. Yeah, right. working on some stairs. Uh, I was clearly working on a second level where I wanted to probably put some beds. Okay. Just checking how to place blocks. I don't think I can place them from very far away, unfortunately. So you have to go down here, I guess place as many as I can. So we're definitely looking for our very first two-story building with this one. And I'm guessing I was probably doing this and ran out of bricks. Okay, I need to put one up there. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Well done. Oops, I don't think I was meant to put that one there. Or that one there. Oh well. Luckily they're pretty easy to take away in this game. So over there, I just have like one, and then I, yeah. And that's going to be the ceiling, so I really do feel that I should, probably should not have put these down. That's probably meant to be some kind of window of some description. I mean, obviously we're not going to be able to have windows by where the stairs are. So I've probably made it so that there's a, a nice big window there. A little window there. Or even a secondary doorway. But this is definitely going to be a doorway by the looks of it. So we'll just carry on with that. Hey, dude. Little dude just wandering in here. I don't know why. Now I'm going to probably want to replace all of this with wood as well, all of this little grassy bit here, because that's probably, that's where their door is. Uh, the doors, it looks like, I generally have like a piece of wood above there, so I'll carry on with that. And it's night time again. This happens very fast in this game somehow. Like daytime and then oh it's nighttime again and then it's daytime again and then it's nighttime again. So I'm kind of thinking that we'll probably want to fill these bits in at the top here. Um, 
some point I may want to change them for like wood or something to decorate with, but we'll just get the basic outline and shape of the building first. And in the meantime, how are they doing with their science? They've managed to make three whole colony bags. We need to do this more faster. <laughs> I need to work out what it is that they need to make colony bags and why it's so slow. Because I'll have that building built in no time, but it seems like they are very, very slow to make 50 bags. And I don't think they're making them on, you know, using them for anything else. So let's see. So we are making one here. I'm trying to right click on it. Here we are. So it requires linen, iron, rivets, coated planks, steel parts, 25. Okay, so steel parts are a thing that we maybe don't have. All right, so where are we making steel parts? Oh, that's the technologist, right? Okay, so the finery forge, it actually physically needs, oh gee, okay. Physically needs me to make finery forges for it, okay. So, will those be made like over here or something? Or at one of the forges? Because I need to expand whatever it is, wherever that is being made. Because that's what they're running out of. Uh, Bloomery, gunsmith, mint shop. Doesn't look like it's over here. Okay, uh, we'll try maybe... That is the finery forge. That's the kiln. Uh, the anvil maybe makes the finery forge. Steel parts. The finery forge, which needs an iron block. We're struggling for iron blocks. Iron blocks are set at one. Well, we can't have that. We need that to be more. And that requires 12 wrought iron. Wrought iron we're struggling with. Right, okay. Needs an iron ingot. Iron ingots probably come out of here. Cokes and, no, that's cokes and charcoal. Oh, out of here. Bronze. Out of here. Bloomery, iron ingot. We are struggling because we need iron ore and charcoal. Right, okay. We're getting there now. Now, we're we not mining enough iron ore, or is it not enough charcoal? Let's check. Oh, let's check in the inventory. I need to be out here in the morning. It seems like uh, as my my dudes are coming out in the morning, not all of the guy, not all of these uh, zombies are dead. So that's unfortunate. It's not good. Oh, you guys all need beds. Oh my goodness. Those need to be moved upstairs into that building definitely as soon as possible. Right. So, <laughs> oh poor things. Bless them. Have a little look at that then. So we've got how much iron? Iron ingots we have four. Iron ore we've got six hundred and sixty, which is lots. That is lots. So charcoal, are we missing charcoal? We have fifty four charcoal. So it looks like the limit might actually be more in the uh, in the actual people, in the actual staff, making uh, making the iron ingots or whatever it is, because we've only got one bloomery. There is enough iron ore and charcoal to be making this stuff. But it looks like it's just not being made. So I think I need possibly another bloomery. Let's see where we can make one of those. Or if I have one, actually. I might even have one. You never know. Even if I've got to put it somewhere dumb. Because it's very full in here, isn't it? So I might have to put it out here or something. 
but it's fine. I'll find a I'll find a spot somewhere for it. So we've got a gunsmith shop. We've got a couple of bloomeries actually. So I'm kind of thinking, what I might do is put a couple uh, maybe there and there. Maybe not that way around. I've forgotten how to turn. Oh no, rotate. Ah, oh, there we are. I'm not forgetting things for long, but I am forgetting them. Um, I'm actually thinking, though, that won't work at all. It needs to be that way. And this one also needs to be that way. So they can just stand there and do their bloomery work. So I'm going to need another couple of colonists to do that. A lot of this game at this stage is just finding bottlenecks in your economy and trying to sort them out. So it's a thing. Well, hopefully that will mean that uh, we'll get on with all of this science bag making a lot faster now. So uh, let me... What am I doing? Construction, forester. No, I don't want an area. I want to... Oh. Is it that one? There we are, recruitment. Hire two more guys. Please don't tell me, like, the dying as well. Please tell me the monsters are getting killed. Before these uh, construction workers come out. Suck at this so much. Don't even start going for him. Thank you. And there's one up here as well. It's going to go straight for my colonists. I think I may need to get some more guys along the walls. There we are. He's dead. Well, they're mostly there, there to sort of... Uh... I've got a couple of day guards as well. But oh, look at all these guys. My goodness me. So many. Taking forever to get around the walls. Oh, no bolts on my inventory. <laughs> That's frightening. I need more bolts. You guys can take care of them with your bolts that you have probably plenty of, hopefully. So we're still short on these science bags. Oh my goodness me. So. So few science bags. So hopefully they should be making these uh, finery forges now. So we're, we're minus one unemployed. We've got... We need another colonist. Um, here we are. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. What? Who got killed? Ah, oh, there's still monsters around. Guys, what are you doing? That really sucks, because then I've got to recruit them again, and I only have, like, 2 million calories. Right, so uh, we've had two dead colonists now as well, or one dead colonist and uh, one colonist we can't recruit. So let's just get into recruitment and recruit what we can. No, we need another bed, okay. Make me a bed! I will put it right next to all the other big long lines of beds. A little space there, look. How wonderful. Right, now I can recruit. Fill all jobs. So what I'm hoping is that these guys are making these finery forges. Or iron ingots. I'm not going to try and get them to make loads of silver. Apparently they, like, can't really make that anyway. But the, the iron should be priority. These 
iron ore and charcoal. I keep going away. Where are you going? Oh, there we are. It's making some. Okay, cool. Now, the only thing is, am I going to start to run out of charcoal is the next thing. Forty-four now. So, yeah, we are a little bit low. It's being made at the kiln. I don't think we need the cokes to be made. I think we need the charcoals to be made more. Well, I'll try and keep a few cokes, just in case we do need them for something, but we'll just really co focus like on the charcoal, which is what we seem to need for the iron. Hopefully that will, will work. Fingers crossed. Um, for the charcoal, I expect I need wood. That should be coming in, though. I do have a tree farm. We've got coal ore as well. Yeah, the charcoal's going up. Right, so that's great. So now, do I have... Are they starting... Yes, they are. They are starting to make more colony science bags. Slowly but surely. I'm just going to check on the... This one. Not that one, sorry. This one. No, not even that one. Uh, who... Is it the anvil? Making the finery forges. The iron blocks. Needs 12 wrought iron. Needs iron ingots. So they're trying. And at the moment they are maybe struggling a little. And I'm telling them to make five of those finery forges at a time. I've got them on a crafting priority. Uh, so I clearly was working on all of this last time. I need so much jewellery. We do need the arrows, so the arrows are a priority, a big one. The tools, fine. Bronze plates, fine. Okay, well I'll leave them to it and I'll go build my house and, and see how quickly they get on with stuff. I mean... They're on seven now. Yeah, it's going up. Every time I check, it's going up by a couple, so that will... Take a little while, yes, because it's a complicated thing, but it's it's getting there, okay? Getting there. That is the main thing. It is such a nasty day outside. Super windy again, super stormy. It's kind of kind of nice in a way. It's like horrible weather, but nice weather. Nice weather if you're inside, which most people are anyway at the moment. So it's cool. Probably don't want the windows to be like directly. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't like it when they're directly right butted up to the corner. I like to just have a little bit of closed inness there. And uh, along there, and along there, and along there. And that's sort of filling in the downstairs level. And then we are going to put some more wood up there. So what? I don't even know what kind of wood I'm using. Oh dear, not good. I'm also going to run out of bricks, but hopefully they've made me some more already. And I'm hoping I don't lose colonists again tomorrow. I mean, not that I've done anything to my defences to make that be a possibility. Let's face it. So just normal planks, I guess. I'm going to use those to make our floor. And this is where I'm like, why aren't you making any uh, charcoal? And they're like, we have no wood, Sheila. What did you expect? I'll be like, um, I don't know. I need to make some torches as well, light this place up. Not that that stops zombies from spawning, it's not that kind of a game. And then I'll probably need some thatching to do the roof. I can always do the floor a little bit later, as long as I've done the bits of floor under where the uh, main sort of workshops are going to go. Then that's fine. 
We're gonna put so many beds up here. I'll move. I'll wait for like daytime though, and then I will move like loads of the beds from down there. All those beds over there are gonna come up into this bit. And now I have run out of wood. Now it's temperate logs, I think. Um, if I use those, I can probably get the sort of planks I need. Hopefully that's the right ones. Yeah, seems to be. So yeah, my, my guys seem to be killing the zombies okay at night. But then I think they're struggling a little bit in the daytime. I may need a few more like daytime guards. I hate putting in daytime guards. It's really annoying. Only reason they, that you should have to need daytime guards is if you're playing a game where they're around in the daytime. Which is actually an option. You can have like 24-7 zombies. But then it's kind of like, it gets to the point then where you, you kind of, it's not really like a challenge because they're, they're, they're there all the time. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, I just need to continually guard against these guys all the time. Probably a big challenge in the, to start with. I mean, it's probably a bit more of a challenge to work out how construction workers and things are going to work. That would probably be quite a big challenge. Let's see if they made us some more dark red bricks. Which they did, because they're lovely. Well done, villagers. So, we'll probably, again, this level here will probably be two to three blocks high, something like that. Enough to put a nice window in, and then we'll have a ceiling. It's probably about one, two, three. Boop, four. <laughs> Yeah, I try to do things in the fast way and it uh, always mucks up. How are those guys? Look at all those zombies. Look, there's so many of them now. Oh, more than, more than my villagers. Taking so many resources. I'm glad that this is not a game where you have to find new resources. It is a game where you just go with the resources you have. And it's also not a game where you have to have... Uh, where you have to particularly care about structural integrity. So that's a, that's a nice change to Empyrean where I have to worry about that quite a bit. I'm going to grab some torches because I'm fed up of it being dark in here. Are there torches in here? Yes, there are. There's many, many, many torches. So I'll take 30 of them and we'll just start... Um, I don't know where I'm going to put them, actually. But I can put them down the bottom, definitely. There's a few spaces down here where a torch might go quite well. Maybe to either side of the door. Maybe not there. Maybe up there instead. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going for with these windows. <laughs> Maybe there. That's enough just to light it up a bit. I'll go with here and here. Oh, it's daytime now. Typical. I'll start putting lights about the place and it's daytime. That's about right, isn't it? How are those chicken keepers doing for their barley? They're still really struggling. And this is why I don't have any arrows. It'll be a few more days before I get that glider going though. And by then I'll have a beautiful building over here, definitely. Not that, um, honestly, with Colony Survival, it, there's only so much you can do. Unless you're some kind of like Minecraft guru who who knows how to I don't know build Starship Inter Enterprise in Minecraft blocks, uh, but you know it it doesn't have like different shaped blocks and things like that, so you can make pretty patterns and and, not, and shape things and make them look nice. You have to just try and work with squares, and there's only so much you can do with squares. I haven't heard any deaths yet. 
But I maybe should go and check uh, on my constructors and people who are off out. Uh, possibly in slightly dangerous circumstances there. There we are. We've got the main outline done now. I could even move beds up here at this point. So if I just look from back here, we've got like a very basically shaped house. Um, it leaves a little to be, to be desired, probably. Hmm. I don't like the doorway at all. Maybe the doorway needed to be too wide. Maybe that was what I had planned. There we are. Too wide doorway. Much nicer. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go and try and save those colonists that are probably going to die. Although it doesn't sound like there's been any deaths yet, and also I don't have any more arrows, that I haven't picked any up. No, it seems okay today. They seem to have done a good job. No more deaths. Very nice. See how we're doing with our science. We are on 9 out of 50. We're a fifth of the way there. Well, that's not so bad. Probably don't need that anymore. A little grass bit there to get up onto the top. Oh, where did you come from? My goodness me. Are they just spawning in a day at this point or are they really that behind? Uh, give me a couple of crossbow arrows. those stones back somewhere. Hey, you! Let's see. Serves you right. Okay, so... <laughs> still working on the, the bit up there. Uh, still gonna want to try and even out some of the windows and things like that. Put a nice thatched roof on it, and it should look really cute, I think. My double story building there. And then, you know, it's almost looking like we've got sort of buildings as well as fields then, you know, I, I, I'm enjoying the look of the uh, the buildings. I might, I'm wondering whether to change the walls to a more like uniform brick, but at the same time, I don't want it necessarily to be the same color as all the buildings. So I have to think about that one if I do want to change the uh, the look of the walls around here. But we'll see. Um, I'm thinking actually while I'm while I'm here, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the beds over, and then I'll sort the floor. Whoa, whoa! Literally, literally like sorry, I didn't really mean to shoot you in the face there, but so many dudes in these beds stop it I'm taking all of them go downstairs my army needs to get woken up they've all decided that they want to sleep here apparently there are other places you can sleep find them like uh, are all the ones down here taken? no they can come down here. In fact, that's exactly what they're doing. They're going down there. They're finding some beds. I'm going to put these beds up here. I'll put some half blocks in as well to make those stairs more stair-like. Okay. So we've got like 20 beds that we need to put in. I'll just put these back a second. We're a little bit out of space, aren't we? I'll just go like this. And other side. This is we're literally you make a new building and you've already got enough beds to fill the entire thing.
Yeah, I literally do. I have enough beds to already fill like, this entire building. That's terrifying. Kind of want those stairs in wood, I think. Just got a torch on the wall somewhere around here. No, people are like, I want to sleep in these beds. They don't really care about like whether there's a ceiling or anything. They just like want to be in in a bed. They don't care. That that torch obviously won't be able to stay there. Yes, yeah, filling up. They they're quite happy to be in here. Right. So next job is to do the floor in here, at least along the edges, and that way I can put it in like. Um, I'm wondering whether to just like sort of at least sort of pencil in the idea that there will be a dividing wall there. around the outside is where a lot of the stations are going to get moved to so I'm kind of thinking we'll just get the wooden parts in there and I can fill the rest in in a minute so I need to make some more planks probably I have a reasonable amount of like temperate logs, but I do need to be a little bit careful with it because I they are starting to run out. So I might have a room that's like my baking room and uh looks like these are Baking ovens. These are grindstones. And these are uh, ovens. So I could have like a bit of a bakery thing going on. And then a bit of a cook room, I guess. Let's get rid of these. I do like that things are pretty easy to move in this game. I'm not sure why those are wood there. I'll put those in the floor over there. I'll make that into grass. Lovely. So this room I think will be my milling room. I mean I might just have a cook room and then have more bedroom downstairs honestly. Because I probably do need that to be honest. Uh, so what have we got? Two grindstones. Some ovens. We had four ovens and there was some like baking oven things. So those must be like oh stoves and ovens, okay. So the stoves one, two Okay, I kinda of think that maybe my four baking ovens would be quite good here. She says putting down three and um, okay, no. Don't like that. Baking ovens then. One, two, three. And then I can have uh, my crates next to it. So where's my crates? I've got 12 crates there. So that's, that's my baking area. A couple of millstones, but I don't think they're going to fit around there. Um, they might fit on this side. Everyone has a, uh... and we've got room for expansion as well then, and then all the ovens will go down the back. So they've, made, they've got a place to, to work now, which is quite nice. I'll leave a little space there.
There, I like that. That's all right. That'll do. But like I say, I've got to be a bit careful with the, the log situation. I, I think the tiger logs make a different, slightly different coloured plank. So I don't want to try make... Well, I could try and make four out of the tiger log and see if it is a different colour. But I'm making that up. I don't know that it is. It actually isn't at all. So I could use that. Slowly get this, this floor filled in in wood. Um, how much thatch do I have is the next question. Lots. So we could definitely do some roofing today. 